Question for you, how far can AM and FM radio waves propagate? Well, first, let's talk a little bit about AM and FM. So AM radio is in the top graph right here, and it stands for amplitude modulation. What that means is as my voice goes into the microphone and into the carrier wave, how the information is transmitted across the air is variations in the amplitude. That means the height of the wave. So when the height is higher, it's when my voice is more intense. When the height is lower, it's when I'm uh, less intense and so on. So the intensity and the character of what I'm saying is carried in the amplitude changing over time. Notice right around here, there's actually some clipping where the amplitude got so high that some of it wasn't able to be carried. And so you can get some kind of distortion or noise in those circumstances. Now for frequency modulation, it's a little bit more robust. The information is not carried in the amplitude. That's notice constant the height of the wave, it's carried in variations in the frequency. Notice right around here, the wave is kind of spread out. That's a, a lower frequency. And then there's regions of where it's wiggling a little faster at higher frequency. So as you speak into the microphone, the information is carried not by changing the amplitude, but by shifting the carrier wave a little bit left, a little bit right off that center point of the frequency with a little bit of what we call bandwidth to carry the information that you're speaking into the microphone. Now, FM radio can go maybe 50 to 100 miles, depending on the power of the transmitter. And it's usually line of sight. So if something is in the way, it's not gonna be received very well. Whereas AM can actually travel farther, usually 100 to 200 miles during the day, but way farther at night, can actually go up to maybe around 1,000 miles at night because the AM frequencies are much easier to bounce off of the Earth's ionosphere, giving them a farther range. Now, when the air gets very thin in the upper atmosphere, the sun actually ionizes the gas. So you have oxygen and nitrogen atoms, but it also has electrons stripped away. So you have a mix of charged particles. That's called a plasma or the ionosphere. So for the low frequency waves like AM radio, they can bounce off the ionosphere to reach a much farther range. Whereas the FM, if they're going up in this direction, they won't bounce. They'll typically pass through the ionosphere. Basically, there's something called the plasma frequency of all plasmas, including the ionosphere. And basically, it's a cutoff where an incoming electromagnetic wave will either be reflected or pass through. And it has to do with sort of the inertia of the plasma. So when you have a low frequency wave, it can oscillate the electrons and cause a reflection. When the frequency is too high, it can't respond and it passes right through. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.